So guess what? So right We're at Disneyland! Woo! It's been a minute! Happy Valentine's everybody! Happy early Valentine's! It's the Theme Park Gals Valentine's Day special and what are we gonna do? Eat, of course! We're finding Valentine's goodies at Disneyland! So come with us! Let's go! Okay, it's so hot today. <laughs> yeah, it is very hot. Um, I don't know, did Ponsatani Phil not see his shadow or what? No, he supposedly saw it. There's supposedly six more weeks of winter. Obviously that's only for Pennsylvania. Yeah, it's, it's real rough. Did you see that go by? What was that? Spring. Welcome to summer. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's what, 90 degrees today? It's 90 degrees here today. Um, so we got a few of the Valentine's things, like we said. Um, so we were on a nice trek of trying to get what we could for Valentine's. It's kind of been a struggle. Yeah. My heart is powder, powdered sugar for you. <laughs> This is a this butter, is the cookie butter co beignet. Cookie butter beignet. Um, we mobile ordered sticky legs. Yeah, is touching mine. We mobile ordered this one, and um, that was I probably say, not best. Right. So normally the line for the beignets at the Mendula Bar is god awful. Yeah. So we did a mobile order, and the mobile order line was god awful, <laughs> and there was nobody in line for the. The, the walk regular walk-up, so. Yeah, uh, but it didn't take that long. No, it didn't. Um, they are very cute. Look at that. Look at that. So we they got three of too. them for... Like five fifty. Yeah, and we mobile ordered. Mm -hmm. So, you know... You can also buy cookie butter dipping sauce. We did not do that. We opted out. Um, we already have a diabetic's dream in front of us, so... We got a lot of sweets, so yeah. we don't need another dip. No. All right, so I'm going to give it a bite. I want to give it a bite together. I know. I don't really know what cookie butter is supposed to taste like. It tastes like a beignet. It tastes like a beignet. It's supposed to have like shortbread butter cookie crumble mixed with the powdered sugar. No. I would agree with that. Maybe, it like maybe it's beignet. in the sauce. Um, maybe we should have got the sauce. Um, okay. So I want to get this one but they're before not bad. it melts. I would like to say they're not bad. They're not they're bad. Good. They're very good. Um, we got the watermelon cherry. The watermelon cherry Dole Whip. Now, they have four flavors, and you can swirl any two flavors you want. What do you think? I don't taste watermelon. Oh, there it is. It gets you in the back. Yeah, it gets you afterwards. It's good. It's very refreshing on this hot It day. is, and it's overwhelmingly cherry. It is. Do you not think so? Mm -hmm. Or did I just get all cherry? No. It definitely tastes like 90% cherry, 10% watermelon at the end. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, this one. <laughs> this one. This is the sour. I'm, I put a picture. Cherry churro. Sour cherry churro with cream cheese Take the dipping sauce. So I'm gonna tell you. Casey said I can't say who. Correct. But there is another vlogger who likes to do just news about Disney. <laughs> you figure it out. Who said this is the best churro ever? Oh my god! And that dipping sauce. And I just the way he was eating it, I was like, okay, Casey, we gotta go try that. I feel like he's never had cream cheese frosting before. Hang on. My arm he away. said he ate half of it without dipping. He shouldn't have done that. Well, I it's do the feel best like churro you ever taste in the world. it without the dipping sauce because I don't think that's a fair shake on no, the churro. This is, this is how he said it was the best You're churro. Spill it. Best churro in the world. Best churro in the world. Oh my god! Like oh my god! Hand in, head in hands, kind of bite. It's not bad. 
Um, it's not bad. The sour isn't that bad. I don't really care no. for it's not like overly sour things. Yeah. Um, so the sour isn't bad. It's good. It's very it's good, light. But it's though. not. Oh my god. This is this that is. It was a dollar cream. by itself. It's this just cream, cream cheese frosting. frosting. I, I was correct in my assumption. I think he he's never had cream cheese frosting before. Oh, did you want to try it without yeah. it? You can. You do get the sour. Mm hmm. It's good. I don't know if I would say cherry. Mm. I don't know if I think cherry. Yeah. I think sweet. With like a little sour kick. But I don't I necessarily get. get cherry. I get a cherry. Do you? Yeah, I do. I will for you. say it's not very messy. The end of the world. No, it's not that Best good. stuff in the world. But it's it is good. good. I mean, All right. if a regular churro is $5.75 and this churro is $5.75, I get this for the nostalgia of it. Yeah. Okay. This is the biggie. I do have a question for you, though. Go ahead. I'm already upset. Since when does Valentine's Day correlate with sour cherry? I don't know, because the next one is another sour cherry. It's the sour cherry pretzel, which I'm a little disappointed because the picture shows the whole thing engulfed in cherry red. So here it is. Ultimately, barely, it's, a, it's barely a cream dipped, cheese pretzel. And this side's not even done. Yeah, it's a cream cheese, it's a cream cheese pretzel with like a sour cherry sugar. Okay. It's, so doesn't that just make it the churro with the cream cheese sauce, but in pretzel form? It is. Yeah. You do get that that sour a little bit. I'd just rather have the churro by itself. It was seven twenty-five too. I like the pretzel. I like it better. I like it better on the pretzel than the churro. Yeah, yeah. They don't really taste it on the pretzel. But though, again, maybe. check out the put the picture up. She's putting the picture up here. Is that pretzel engulfed in the red, or it is it like, like it goes, half of it's not? It does look like it goes all the way around. Did you see how I almost offered you that and then I took it? Story of my life, guys. I didn't mean to do that. All right. I do feel that we're getting a little gypped here. And the reason I say that is because at Disney World, yes, they already have all the Valentine's food out, mm -hmm. and it's just all the Valentine's food. Yeah. Here, they have like a vegan stew, this ham and brie sandwich, um, a bunch of other stuff, but it's only, only for the for sweethearts, sweet, night. sweethearts night. So I just don't feel... I feel like we're getting chipped. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a, it's a load of malarkey. Yeah. I don't think it's fair. Mm -mm. Um, also, there are other items, but Casey found out these are only the items that are available today. Right. As we get closer to Valentine's, um, the items will become uh, more available. But I don't know, after Valentine's, is that it? No, that's it. So, like, Clarabelle's... So, these are just for the, uh, a week. So, no. So, the churro, the pretzel mm -hmm. is through, I think, March. And the Dole Whip? I'll look it up and put it in here. Um, but, like... They're gonna do a macaron at um, yes, Fiddler Pfeiffer, Pfeiffer at DCA only on Valentine's, on Valentine's Day. Day for the whole day. Yes, not just the sweethearts. Well, sweethearts night isn't over there, so it would be all day. Right. And then like Clarabelle's is gonna do like a sweetheart Sunday thing. Gibson Girls is too. That starts the 11th, so it's gonna be the 11th through the 14th. So just basically Valentine's weekend. But at Disney World, you can get all that stuff and more. Right now. So, unfair, unfair. I'm throwing, Much a, I'm throwing a flag. It's been thrown. Um, so, we went on Haunted Mansion, and Casey's got a gripe about what's going on with the lightning lane. So, my feeling on this, and take it for what you will, my mom always said, opinions are like a-holes. Everybody has one. Um, so this is just my opinion on the matter. I really feel at this point Disneyland is discriminating on people based on their socioeconomic status. 
That being she said, said I, I'm just gonna throw down the gauntlet. Um, when we worked here, the one thing that I'll never forget about traditions is they said, some people save their whole lives to come here just once. I remember that. And I really took that to heart because it's true. This place is expensive. Yeah. You, what, my sister just came and it was like five grand for three, three people. And that's staying on property, mind you. Mm -hmm. At but, the lower, uh, at the Paradise at the Pier, Paradise which is Pier. supposed to be cheaper. It's And that's supposed to be the cheapest of the three hotels. And they spent like well over five grand just on park tickets and the hotel itself. So my issue with this is, you have people that save their whole lives to come. And now it's, oh, well, if you want to be able to get on every ride when you want to, you're going to have to shell out extra $20 per day if you're here three days. That's yeah. an extra $60 per person. If you have a family of four, you guys can do the math. Yeah. So, I, we rode Mansion. Circling back to Mansion. I worked Mansion. They're not... They're using the lightning lane as an excuse to not be efficient. Our ER or our stretching room was not even halfway full. No. And I said maybe it's the pandemic, but then Casey reminded me when we were in the heart of the pandemic when the park was open, they they, they kept saying you people in there. shove in there, shove in there more, get in more, get in more. You could have easily fit, I'd say, 30 more people. Yeah. So I really, I really feel like they're like, well, if you don't, if you, it's like they're, they're making you choose and I hate like Diane and I have been through hard times as a couple and, and as a family with kids and making that decision of oh do we do this or eat do we do we pay this bill or do this like that's a really crappy yeah. position for anybody to be in yeah. especially if you're on vacation and you have kids and it's oh well do I get my kid a souvenir or do we ride the rides that we want to ride I just don't think it's fair and I think Disney's too much putting the dollar in front of the person and yeah, that's. I'm gonna get off my soapbox now. She had something to say. Um, okay, so you know, I two thumbs up on the Valentine's stuff. Everything that we had was very good. Yeah, um, but We're we have. Trying. Yeah, we have. The theme park gals are gonna try an alcoholic beverage over at the Grand Hotel. Or two. So let's go do that. And I, we, if it's open, I want to show you guys the holiday cart that they have at the Grand because they're supposed to have other stuff there. Yes, that's true. So other sweets and goodies. Other sweets. So we're going to pack up. So we decided to walk through DCA to get to the Grand. And look at somebody you don't see very often. We got Horace hanging out over there. Now, question. So here's the big question. This is a hot topic question in our family, and I'm fairly positive we've gotten in a few debates about it. Who is Clarabelle in a relationship with? Is it Horace? Is it or Horace Goofy? or Goofy? Because I don't know if it's Lonzo or Eric. One of them claims that I it's. You said it's Horace. You said that it's Horace. I think you I think and Lonzo one, think it's Goofy. It's Goofy. Goofy and Clarabelle are a thing. Well, Goofy's over here, so. So I'm just saying. What is settle the debate? Who does Clarabelle belong to? Horace or Goofy? So, the theme park gals, on a hot day, we found the spot that's, it feels... It's like easily 10 easy, degrees cooler. Easily 10 here. degrees cooler. Look where we're at. <laughs> it's so shaded. It feels so good. Feels we so were good. We were like power walking, because we have a reservation, and we all of a sudden Just hit the brakes. stopped to a stroll. Oh, it feels yeah, so good over very here. Very refreshing to be over yeah, here. Yeah, that's nice. But we got to get to that reservation. So we made it to the California Grand Hotel. Um, and we got our drinks. I got the tuxedo something. Strawberry, but it's chocolate. I'm um, it up. I, again, the pitcher looks better, but... There's the cute little hearts that are supposed to look like Mickey heads too. So I got the tuxedo strawberry. It's Bacardi raspberry rum, dark creme de cocoa, de cacao, de cacao. strawberry puree and half and half served up in a chocolate coated martini glass with strawberry ganache. And then I got the California crush 
It's Crown Royal Regal Apple Whiskey, Strawberry Puree, Lemon, and Agave served with a mint sprig and a strawberry, 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 strawberry heart garnish. Um, is it a heart? I don't know. I don't want to stick my finger in there. Oh, it's, it's not like down. on a stick? No. Oh. Um, I will say they are nice looking drinks. Mine, if you love chocolate, tastes delicious and very chocolatey. Hers is really good and it's strong. Like they are not, they're pretty heavy handed on these pours. Did you try yours? I did. It was a little sour, like, uh, but I very well could have just gotten the lemon like right Give off the bat. Give it a stir here. Give it a stir. Um, so these drinks we got at Craftsman. We got a reservation for it. Yeah, you have to get a reservation. You have to get a reservation to, to go to Craftsman's, mm -hmm. but we weren't gonna eat anything because y'all saw the Duh. smorgasbord that we had. The sweets, yeah. So we weren't gonna eat anything. We just wanted the drinks, and they wouldn't sit us in a shaded table. And it, like requested, we said, it's so hot. I requested a shaded table, and she said I can put you at that table or over at the bar. And both of them were in the sun. Yeah. So I sat in the sun for five minutes. My chair was soaked. So sweaty. <laughs> and I got up and I told Casey, I can't sit here. Yeah, so. Um, I will say, I don't know what's happening over there at the Craftsman Bar, uh, but the cast members over there are not happy. That's will, all I'm gonna say. I will say, that is with the exception of Ruth. Yes. If you guys have seen our California staycation when we got the cabana, yes. Ruth was our server at the cabana. She was She's our cabana host. so sweet and lovely and remembered us. And um, we're gonna try and come, hopefully yeah, can she come said, again. She said, you guys yeah. should come again. And we said, yeah. if we come, we'll of course we'll request, request you. <laughs> yes, um, so if yeah. you come to uh, the, the grill is that what it's called craftsman bar, bar and, grill. and grill yeah request ruth she's, she's love fantastic i don't know what's going on with the other cast members yeah there. everybody just seems off and i very don't know, bad vibe over there i don't know if it's because it's hot today and yeah. everybody thought it's february and why is it hot which yeah. i agree yeah but it was just better for our vibe mm -hmm. to walk away yep and we asked and they said that we can take our drinks anywhere within the grants yeah. and we found this little table in the shade and so, so. you know these they're plastic Did you hear that? cups. It's no, a plastic you heard cup. nothing. Exactly. Yeah, that's your first drink on camera. What do you it's think? It's good. Um, the lemon, it is very lemony, but it's good. It's very refreshing. Mm. Um, I just spilt. You, that's why I grabbed the napkin. Yeah, so we're over here poolside. If you want to flip it around, you can show them the pool. Where's the pool? Um, our cabana is over to the right. It's not that one not right that there. One. It's it's two on the other side it's of like, that. Um, over there. But yeah, we're sitting here in the shade. It feels so cool right here, poolside. Um, it's cooler here. Um, the vibe's better. Um, and you, it looks like you can order food. There's a menu mm -hmm. on the table, so we can order food here if we wanted to. But we're gonna enjoy our drinks, our Valentine's drink. Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Love you. Love you. Happy Valentine's to everybody. We love you. We love you. Um, and you know, the sweets, they're, they're there for a week. <laughs> Come on down. The, everything was good. The churro was not the end of life, yeah, the best I've ever had in my entire life. And I will say I was very disappointed. I love the cream cheese. She does. Pretzel. Every time we go, that's a must for Casey. Like We've literally come, bought in like three, and I've brought them home and put them in the fridge. Yeah. Um, it wasn't great. We didn't even finish it. It wasn't no, great. No, no. And we can't take that one home no. uh, to Lonzo. Where's our bag? Do you have our bag? It's in the... Oh, okay. Um, we're taking two of the beignets home to Lonzo and the rest of that churro. Mm -hmm. They were good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, a good thumbs up for both of those. Yeah, thumbs up for both of those. Mm -hmm. I just think for seven twenty-five, the pretzel is not really worth it. Yeah, and like I said, look at the picture that she put up, and it's coated, and yeah. it was just one side. So I was a little disappointed in that. But um, other than that, everything was a good time. It was. It's always a good time. Yeah. And with that Valentine's Day, our movie, movie quotes. 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 Diane's making us do two. She yeah. has one. I have one. I have one. Okay. So mine 
is from one of my favorite, all-time favorite movies. Um, when Harry movie. Met Sally. Such a funny movie. Yes. With Billy Crystal and Meg Ryan. I absolutely love that movie. And I remember Billy Crystal said, I came here tonight because when you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want to start the rest of your life with somebody as soon as possible. So hers is like very more sentimental than mine. Mine's from 10 Things I Hate About You. And it's, there's a difference between like and love. Because I like my Skechers, but I love my Prada backpack. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right, so we're at this treat cart at the California Grand and they've got Lunar New Year stuff. And if you see, Diane's already up there making friends. So let's take a look. Boxes of Valentine cookies. Oh, and look at there's like Mickey pants and mini pants. Strawberries. Strawberries and macaroons. New Year goodies. I love, look at the little tiger. So cute. Year of. That's the whoopie pie. That looks amazing. I think I might get one of those. Grab one. The Valentine's cookies. Is that a strawberry or raspberry filling? Raspberry filling? They have Rice Krispie treats. They have the alcohol cookie shots. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Little Mickey cookies over there. Yeah. That's a good one. Trade me some. The whoopie pie. Yeah. Minnie Mouse. So cute. And then those are the macaroon flavors that they have. So we were walking through downtown Disney on our way to the park and Marcella Sweets is here doing artwork. So this was the first one that she did. Di showed it in our last video. And then look at this one. Look at this one, it's so cool. So we're at Downtown Disney and look who I ran into. It's Marcella, the, the artist of what I posted here, doing new work. What is this one called? You know what, this is actually in celebration of uh, Black History Month, all the pieces that I'm doing, but I'm celebrating the Afro. Nice. And, and the fact that um, some people are unfamiliar with the Crown Act. Mm -hmm. So the Crown Act, people can look that up. So um, African -Amer American women can wear their hair and clothes at the workplace or wherever Wonderful. without being told they have to wear a wig. And a lot of people don't realize that, that's why um, a lot of African American women have worn wigs over the years because they couldn't wear their hair in a natural state. Wow. So I'm celebrating that. Nice. And and for me, I'm a person that if I use processed chemicals on my hair, my hair will thin out. Right. So right. braids and wearing my hair natural is, is what, what my 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 body and my hair looks. So nice. I'm celebrating that and um, just our roots and then the pick. It's going down into the roots, and then I'm actually gonna oh, cool. add these fun elements in the back. Yeah. Um, maybe some more picks. How long does this usually take you to do? Um, it just depends. Um, this has taken me one and a half days. Um, they've given me three days. Sometimes I have to do some of these in a day. Wow. But um, because I don't like talking to people, yeah. wink wink, <laughs> um, they've given me th three days and it's been really nice. So nice. It's been, I'm going to stretch it out. Oh, we won't keep you any longer, but thank you for taking the time. Thank you for stopping by. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. much.